गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस इट्स अ 4:48 पीएम टुडे इज मंडे मंथ एंड अक्टूबर 31st एंड वी हैड अ वेरी चॉपी यू नो अप एंड डाउन डे ओवरऑल बायर्स वेयर एक्टिव एंड दे आर गोइंग टू बी एक्टिव एज लॉन्ग एज प्राइस इज होल्डिंग अबाउट टुडेस लो इन बोथ एनक्यू एंड ईएस सो दिस एरियाज यू नो सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गेसिंग टुडे यू नो बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मंथ एंड यू डोंट नॉट वांट टू गेस एनीथिंग टुडे but rather you focus on the levels so these are the levels that will give us one trade you know so basically price rotated around this area a lot and sellers try to hold this area while buyers try to take out this area you know that was a fight going on and q pretty much held above this area you know so buyers were trying to hold this area but from the 500 areas there were sellers so it was a mess today 100% you know up and down but uh we just have to rely on the real time data and then take an action right so we'll talk about it in the when we go through the chart 547 528 dream number as usual they are important right so 547 dream number right right in the pre market you can see it it touched it here right and then price went through it went down right and 528 was the other dream number so price basically uh, price was holding below trend number you know before open and this area you know this entire area pink line was a confluence area see it was a dream number area it was a preferred buyers area if it opens here i want this area to act as a support uh, to give us some clue that hey buyers are super active or active you know at the same time this area i had listed as a aggressive sellers area so if sellers are active this is the area they should defend and they did you know but that doesn't mean we have to short it because of friday's up day there was no point until price goes below back up by seria then we can short right but technically above 400 buyers have a control right so you can technically short here and then target this but it doesn't make sense because right of the open price was came straight down to 438 right yes it was test stepping down also actually in a smaller time frame right if you look at the little bit larger time frame it was like coming straight into 438 so if you combine both the time frames you know shorts were difficult there was another reason internals were rising if you look at ad it was rising here also while price was going down right so that was also a conflict with internals internals were not supporting the short idea here you know so only way you can trade this is is long whether you go long here get stopped out long here get stopped out long here get stopped out long here and finally it works right so that's the only way so once you see this thing so we discuss that price is doing uh, stair stepping down so if you do not want to take longs like the way i did it today you know so all these longs i took it and then i got stopped out like 5 point 6 point 7 point something you know overall i had a, like by the time price came down here i had a 40 point loss in this four five trades you know but still i did not give up because internals were holding well you know they were not liquidation kind they were supporting buyers so here also you know when it went below 388 so each of my long gave me almost 30 40 point in profit at one point but i refused to take the profit because the whole idea i was playing is at least it will go back here or potentially higher you know so so i did not take a profit and eventually i got stopped out stopped out stopped out stopped out but i did not give up finally when it price poked below it this my fourth or fifth long i said you know what now if it goes above 400 i will take a long but i need to see some buying coming in this was the link you know so this was the thing here right here see this buying straight up and we were discussing in discord right all this thing then price pull back to this 400 that was the time you know i my i took my last long you know pretty much if it's i also said in discord either do or die here either it goes down take me out and i'm done for trading if it holds it here i'm looking for 100 point move so 480 was my target you know so that got failed so overall net net i was like 50 60 point plus uh here because at the same time you know es i did not traded it all because i was busy focusing on nq you know and watching es at the same time 
uh, actually in, this, in the morning I was trading yes actually sorry I even forgot so 77 also I got long here you know and then I saw NQ going down so then I switched the gear you know and then I stopped trading yes and I started picking up NQ because NQ was the one who went down further than yes right so in terms of reward NQ has more rewards if you choose to go higher than yes so then I switched the gear you know and then I started only focusing on NQ right while I was watching ES on the side uh, it was holding this 77 area basically you know keep poking below and going above poking below going above so here in ES right the morning stair step down pattern was broken right here you know when that's buying came in that's where you know I took one long in ES around 10 30 or so which is same time here also right so ES did not go down but NQ stopped me out here right so then I stopped ES I held the trade and here in NQ I waited it when this buying happened you know that's where I took this long right here at the same time I put another long in ES you know and then my target was 97 in ES because it was keep going there so 97 was also the key area right it's an aggressive sellers area and preferred buyers area and here ES did not reached even here to this backup buyers area right so buyers were pushing it ahead of it somehow they like this area you know I have no clue why this 80s area you know 70s or 80s so but anyway so I just you know and then by the time internals were also up here rising right in a way they were holding well so this was my final longs you know 80 exit 97 exit here and then I was done you know I also said in the discord also it's better to take a profit here because now you know as long as NQ holds above 440, buyers have a control. But due to this damn thing, you know, uh, sellers are still active, you know, as long as it is holding below this area. So you have to be careful, you know. So I rather not trade due to this mess up back and forth, you know. So, and then here you can see it, 440 even held it here. And then again push higher, right. But when you see this, see if, let's say if you are trading this, right. And when you see this, you should stop trading at that point because now people are just playing the game and you can see it back and forth back and forth back and forth right but overall buyers held this 440 basically you know keep poking below it but fail breakdowns fail breakdowns fail breakdowns see that uh, and uh, yes also same thing fail breakout fail breakout fail breakout fail breakout right and random buying here 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 all random buying actually you know in a gray area ideally support was here right so the day was messy today because of the month end right so, but month end closed see if you look at es opening and closing same place right so it's a it's like a neutral day here also pretty much neutral day right so tomorrow you know we are looking for a move either up or down now i'm hoping that tomorrow will be a move you know before fomc but it's again it's hard to guess anything before FOMC, right? So, because before FOMC, usually day is choppier, but price may run to a key level again, you know, during FOMC, before FOMC. And right at the FOMC, it may do something. So, either it could be a choppy, like today, or it would be a nice move. So, overnight price action will give us some clue, you know, whether it goes above here, or down below in the overnight then we will know you know so in the morning i might know a firm answer and that we all for today